New COVID-19 cases reported in Duval County Public Schools are leveling off. Yesterday's update to the district's COVID-19 tracking dashboard was the smallest Monday increase in cases since the beginning of the school year. Doctors say the mask mandate is part of the reason why. Uh, News for Jack's reporter Joe McLean joining us live from Ed White High School. Joe, that is one of three Duval County schools that were forced to shut down because of outbreaks in this new school year. It was, but now uh, quite a turnaround for Ed White. This school, according to the Duval County uh, dashboard, has reported no cases in the last seven days. I also spoke to the principal just now. She says mask compliance has been very, very high here. Now, I did speak to some doctors, uh, some local doctors who say uh, the reason for that, there's several factors contributing to that, uh, but one of them, as you said, is that mask mandate. A look at the COVID-19 numbers in Duval County shows a very clear decrease in the number of new reported COVID-19 cases in the district. Two Mondays ago, the post-weekend update had nearly 200 cases. This past Monday, just 51. Dr. Sunil Joshi heads the Duval County Medical Society Foundation and said mandated masks played a role in that drop. So it's been a dramatic decrease over time, and I do think that masks make a difference. But I also think we need to keep in mind that there are other things that are making a difference, including increasing vaccination rates. Duval County families are now going to be looking at this new panel on the district's COVID-19 dashboard. This is the seven day positivity rate. Right now it's at 9.9%. But according to the emergency rule that the district adopted, the moment this drops below 8%, the mask mandate in the district will be automatically suspended. That 8% number is what the CDC considers to be moderate spread of the virus. Other school districts in Northeast Florida have also seen declining COVID-19 numbers, but what's continuing to rise everywhere is vaccinations. Now that cases are going down and people are quote unquote relaxing a little bit, I think it's very, very important for us to remember that vaccines are the way for us to stay out of trouble with this pandemic. The fear for medical workers is the sprouting of another COVID-19 variant, which is a continued risk with each transmission of the virus and could spark another surge, putting a dangerous strain on hospital resources. Let's continue to do what's been working. Let's get folks vaccinated and let's have our kids continue to wear masks in school because I do feel like that's keeping our kids safe and it's also protecting their families. Now, the district also confirmed today that uh, for that mask mandate to be dropped, the uh, rolling seven day positivity rate needs to be below 50 out of 100,000. Joshi also mentioned it's important to help out uh, lessen that strain on hospitals. So he was reminding everyone, get your flu shot as well. You can find a lot of information about the flu vaccine, how to get it for free and what to expect. That's all on our website. Just go to newsforjax.com slash flu Reporting live, I'm Joe McLean, Channel 4, the local station. Thank you, Joe. And you can get all the latest updates, including any school closings and policy changes delivered right to your inbox. You can do that with our Facing the Fall newsletter. Go to news4jax.com slash facing the fall. You can sign up for it. It is free.